DEVELOPING NEWS OUT OF PLAINVILLE WHERE INVESTIGATORS ARE LOOKING INTO A DEADLY PLANE CRASH. IT HAPPENED NEAR ROBERTSON AIRPORT. NEWS 8'S MARIO BOONEY IS THERE LIVE ON THE SCENE WITH THE VERY LATEST TONIGHT. MARIO. Darren, investigators have mostly left the scene, but the wreckage you can still still clearly see right up on this hill behind me. This is part of the landfill here of the town of Plainfield. What's happening right now, though, the FAA stepping in and taking over this investigation as they try to figure out what led to this deadly crash. The plane just crashed in the nature park, Ranger Nature Park. The plane banged so that. I saw it from this angle and it was sideways. Deadly plane crash. Emergency services responded to the crash and determined the sole occupant of the twin engine plane died on impact. Thursday morning in the town of Plainville. Cell phone video obtained by News 8 shows cops rushing to the wreckage within minutes of the crash. He saw that the pilot was ejected from the plane. Roger Knapp first heard the plane. I knew that this one sounded really low, so I got up to take a look out the window. You thought the plane was heading directly for your house? Oh, the plane was. The plane was heading directly for my house. Like, I was looking at it coming at me. So his first instinct... I think I better run. The plane actually crashed a few hundred feet from his condo in the town landfill. Within the past two hours, investigators identified the dead pilot as 67-year-old Donald Eckberg of Burlington, Connecticut. They believe he took off from Robertson Airport not far from the crash site. My thoughts are with whoever is in there. All right, guys, so again, uh, the FAA stepping in right now to take over this investigation. We are hoping to learn more, but right now it's really a mystery as to what happened and why this plane suddenly crashed here in the field behind me. Of course, much more on this developing story next at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from Plainfield, I'm Mario Boone, News 8.